I'm here with A Mafia on the set of a shoot, send a package TV. Jamie here. How you doing? I'm doing great. Good, I see you. We we're we're in Harlem. I see Harlem tatted on your neck. We just we all Harlemed out today. Well, what you think about that? Uh what can I say, man? We're in the middle of the projects. <laughs> People get killed over here every day, you know. We shooting a video every day, you know, and uh, we just shooting a video. Me, Styles P, Uncle Murder. That's about it. Okay, nice. You know, no big deal. Just shooting a music video. Yeah, we chilling. <laughs> All right, cool. So, what's the video, and what do you have coming out? Uh, the video is, is for a song called Cuban Connection. Um, it's not on any tape, like an actual mixtape that I put out. Just a song I did with Styles P and Uncle Murder. It was on the radio, they was, uh, you know, it was ringing off, so we decided to shoot the video. You know what I'm saying? We still in the hood, so I gotta be on point. You know, uh, we decided to shoot the video, and um, that was about it. All right, nice. Well, I'm glad you did. So, from the rundown, I was able to give you about Send a Package. What do you think about the company? Uh, I mean, I support anything that's about the jail, so, you know. Now, I did read up a little on you, and I know you were incarcerated for some time. Tell me how being incarcerated inspired you in your music. Um, I mean, I guess that's where I get my hunger from, because, like, you know, you, being, you be locked up, and you hear a lot of these people out here, and it's like, I just want to get back involved. You know, I wanted to get back involved in the game, so I was writing a lot of my best stuff when I was locked up. And then I came out, and I got straight back to it. So, like, when when, when I first came home, if you listen to, like, my older music, you can hear the, the hunger. Like, you know, I was just in a rush to get out here to get it popping. So that's how jail influenced my music. Okay, nice. So the fact that we are able to get quality music to inmates, how do you think that's important for those on the inside? I mean, that's the most important thing because music is what really helps a person's bid go, you know what I'm saying, quicker and better, you know what I'm saying. So, you know, uh, it's definitely uh, important that they have music in prison, you know what I'm saying, for real. So you're an artist now. We've got we we spent a little time with the prodigy and such, and him and the alchemists are putting together an instrumental album for the catalog. How how do you think that would be helpful for those who might want to write inside? Oh, that'd be dope. Cause people are always writing in jail. You know, in jail, there's always times where you know people have ciphers. You know, a ciphers when a bunch of rappers get together, and not even all just rappers, just a bunch of people get together in a circle or however they want to do it and just listen to other people rap and that helps the time go quicker you know get people something to talk about in the jail so the instrumental tape definitely be hot you know to help people write while they're in there all right so when you were there and as far as receiving packages what did that do for your day and how did that how was that instrumental for you to be able to receive well, I mean, packages i always got packages man i always got packages always got mail i mean that just helped the time go by you know because when, when when you when you send out for a package it might take a week, two weeks to come. So you, you waiting for that two weeks. So within that two weeks, you doing stuff to for your you waiting for your package. So if you got a package coming every two weeks, twice a month, and food coming in or whatever, or money coming in, or whatever, whatever, you know that should just help your bid go quicker. That's nice. So the people that were sending you packages, how did they get them to you, and did they experience any difficulty kind of collecting things? Did you have to send things back? Did it take a lot of time? I was the kind of person when I was locked up. I didn't make it hard on my people's like I, I told them exactly what to get where to get it and I didn't send them on wild goose chases trying to find you know a lot of people in jail be trying to send their family on goose chases to find all type of crazy stuff I just get the simple stuff and whatever I don't get from home I'll buy it on commissary okay I hear you so we're also in conjunction with a nonprofit organization called in arms reach parents behind bars uh, children in crisis what do you think the effect on children is for their parents incarcerated I mean it's it's hurtful you know uh, it kind of have a negative effect on the children because like you know the other parent is not there so you know jail there's no positive effect on children as far as like jail is always negative yeah definitely so well thanks for spending time with us how can we let's tell people where to find you online and how we can stay up with all your projects and what you got going on on twitter and instagram mafia the boss m-a-f-i-a-t-h-e-b-o-s-s -S. all right beautiful well thanks for spending time with us thank you we shall be in touch yep all right <laughs>